and welcome to another studio vlog and this is my trip to Brick Lane and I decided to stop off for a little coffee break and I saw these cinnamon buns and as a Swedish person I of course had to have them <laughs> so as I sat and ate them and thought of Valhalla uh, <laughs> I decided to go and explore Brick Lane colourful Brick Lane is. Uh, there's just graffiti and artwork everywhere as well as lovely bits of history scattered everywhere. I love walking down this street along Whitechapel as all of the buildings are really old. Settled as all French Protestants who immigrated there. Also, went into some art galleries and art shops uh, nearby. I just loved all the colourful pottery and paintings in this shop. some friends for lunch. Hey, serious lady. <laughs> <laughs> and after that it was time to go to the exhibit. Now I was uh, one of the exhibitors, uh, there was a few of us, and what I absolutely loved about this collection of artists was how different we were, and how different our art pieces were. You had tapestries, puppets, embroideries, and clay models. We also had animation, and amazing concept art as well. And it was just so lovely to meet everyone, and yeah celebrate this wonderful occasion. Oh, and I love the little shoes on this puppet.
So after my morning wake-up call, uh, I decided that I really wanted to do some painting. So I got my gouache out, and what I wanted to do was the full gate uh, shop because I really love the old buildings with the new buildings at the back. So I started sketching uh, just the general shapes, and uh, I'm not really used to painting buildings, so this was a bit of a challenge to get all the angles right. Um, and it's about here. I kind of wanted to give up and just have a nap instead, but years of experience have taught me to just push through that feeling and just have fun with it really. So I decided to go for more of a sunny blue sky with the Studio Ghibli style-esque <laughs> clouds because um, when I was there it was a bit of an overcast but I kind of wanted to just add some colour to it. And uh, again, why I really love this shot or this street um, is because it just kind of really represents what I really like about Brick Lane or this part of uh, London. Uh, it's just how the old and the new is right next to each other. And it just kind of creates this sort of sense of a scrapbook or tapestry of um, history, really. Uh, where you have these old buildings from Victorian era uh, right next to these new glass buildings and yeah it just kind of gives me this sort of romantic feeling when I go to London and I don't mean like romantic as in a romance but just a I feel like I'm walking through a thousand stories like so many people have lived and walked by or passed by London um, every window has has a story, and yeah, as I was painting this, I was just imagining who might have lived in these windows that I'm painting right now. And you can kind of find that all out, all throughout London. I, when I lived there, I used to love walking along the Thames, and you would have the clink, which was there, which is an old prison which was there during Shakespeare. I think he even mentioned it in some of his plays. And not far from there, you have Shakespeare's Globe. And I can't quite remember right now, but there's so many pubs that um, look just like they did uh, in like the 1700s. So basically they look like pirate uh, <laughs> pubs. I think there was one called the Mayflower which is where the, I believe the pilgrims left for the Americas. And yeah, that's why I love going around old towns and uh, just seeing the history.
what I thought was really cool with this building is it was very sprightly in colour, so parts of it was quite red, uh, whereas other parts were just a little bit more brown. I thought that really added such an interesting texture. As I'm editing this and looking back and I've added the music, it really does make it feel like there's a little party going on uh, in one of those windows. I know it looks sped up, but my technique can be quite uh, erratic, it feels like. Um, I, I do quite rough uh, strokes with my brush, and I'll go all around the painting where I feel like, oh, that needs a bit of colour, and oh, that needs a bit of defining. Um, yeah, I just find it the most fun to paint which makes paintings like this maybe not as accurate as I would like. Um, yeah, I like to think it gives it some energy. So I felt that this was starting to look a bit uh, brown and beige, so I added some more deeper blues and kind of bright yellows. Yeah, and I decided to add a little bit of purple for the shadow. Yeah, I kind of like that it's just a little pop of purple. And added also a little extra uh, bright red as well, just to make it pop a little bit more. And with the yellow in the terracotta chimneys, I think it just made, made it a little brighter. Here's the finished product. 
Uh, I had a lot of fun painting this actually. I really got in the zone after a while. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching.